For 23 years, Randy Murray has made films in Arizona. The film business in Arizona is made up of small businesses. These are entrepreneurs who are gaffers and grips, art directors, you know, these are artists and artisans who make their living on a freelance basis. He is just one of many local filmmakers that would benefit from an Arizona film office. Without a good steady flow of productions coming to town, these people have to relocate to Los Angeles or New Mexico or someplace else where they're open for business. In Arizona, we're just not open for business. The Arizona Film Office closed its doors back in 2009 due to statewide budget cuts. But one state senator is hoping to bring it back once again. Senator Carlisle Begay is sponsoring SB 1098, which essentially reinstates the Arizona Film Office. If we invest in an office, say, with a budget of $400,000 or so, it would be <clears throat> an easy return on investment with you know, just landing a few productions. According to the Motion Picture Association of America, the film industry currently provides more than 9,000 jobs in Arizona. But at this point, we just need to be open to business so that we can start gathering those. So we're not looking down the road. This is not part of a long-term strategy. This is just, for God's sakes, let's say yes to those tax dollars. If SB 1098 is passed, the Arizona Film Office will be allotted $612,500 to operate for the next fiscal year. In Phoenix, Nathan Delatore, Cronkite News.